Hey team, so we have not done a sensual session in a long minute, so I knew if we were gonna get back into it, we were gonna have to raise the stakes. So we, I mean we collectively, are going to attempt the sexual private dance. I'm your private dancer. Do what you want with me, take what you want. Okay, we're not gonna sing. We're gonna be serious and we're gonna be sexy about this. Now the thing with the sexual dance is that it can literally go one of two ways. It can be sensual and beautiful and awesome or downright silly. Like there's no in between. And I know this because I've attempted it twice in my little life and both times it's been motherfucking silly. It's been silly as shit. The first time I tried it, I wore socks on hardwood floor. Can't recall the song. Do recall getting three moves into it. Whoop, 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 whoop. I, I slipped. So fast forward now, time number two. I realized that I needed to do a little bit more prep work and this was somebody who lived far away so I was going to visit them so I really wanted to like wow. And what better way to wow them than with a sexual dance by a woman who can pop it into the splits. We're gonna get to that part later. First, we're gonna start off by this ridiculousness. To train for this sexual dance, I played Michael Jackson Experience on the Wii every single day. I. Have you, I don't know what, have you played the game? That was not, that is not training day for a sexy dance, but for some reason in my mind, this made perfect sense. And I also stretched every single day in attempts to get into the splits. Now, I know that shit impresses people. And I kind of like those little things that impress dudes. Like I drive a standard car and when a guy comes in, he's like, oh, you drive standard, do you? Yeah, it's like, whatever, doesn't everybody? I know everyone doesn't drive no standard car. So I wanted to be the girl who did the splits. Long story short, I get there, I've trained, I got this far off the ground in my practice, so I kind of felt like with the extra adrenaline of game day, I would be able to get right into it. Didn't stretch before, and we were making out, and it was like getting all hot and heavy, and then I pushed him back, and I looked at him in the eyes, and I gave him a little hair flip, and I popped it into the splits from a standing position, whoa. Uh, I got all the way down to the ground. I did do the splits, but when I got there, the sound that I heard, it, I knew it wasn't right. I knew it wasn't going to be right ever again after that moment. Like literally rip your jeans in half. That is the sound of my ligaments tearing that I will have in my brain for the rest of my life. And there was almost immediate bruising to the area actually, because when you do pull a muscle, you get internal bleeding and it turns into a big disgusting bruise. So this is a big deal, people. For me to be returning to the sexy dance and to give it a second attempt, I'm gonna do it because I think a sensual woman is somebody who knows how to seduce. And not necessarily somebody knows how to seduce herself, knows how to get into that place and feel great about how she moves, you know, both in and out of the bedroom. So I realized Michael Jackson can't get me there, so I went to my friend Gia. Gia. Confession time, I did not change for the lesson. But we're gonna get to this part later. First of all, I want you guys to learn more about Gia. Hey everyone, my name is Gia Von Tate and I am a professional dancer, pyro, and taste maker. I did some burlesque and some fetish clubs. I've got a little experience in everything. My attraction to the art of go-go dancing or to the art of seduction came probably like around 21, um, where I actually became an entertainer and I made it my goal every night that I worked to make sure that every time I hit that stage, I made everybody's head turn. And I think is, I think it's energy and also eye contact and just simple movements. <laughs> it's very, very simple movements and just confidence. You have to be very confident in yourself. I was just like everyone else. I didn't know where to start. I went to YouTube. Google and YouTube and I just started typing in keywords, exotic dancing, pole tricks. I got involved with different types of music. Um, I found a couple places or a couple websites as far as like OC Pole Fitness, which is here in LA. Um, and I stuck to different dancers that attracted me. I even looked at pole show fitness like competitions and I just wanted to see what it was like. Once I figured out that I had the strength and the muscle to do it, it all became more of like, how can I put this into a show? How can I make this into a show? Anyone can learn how to seduce and internalize a woman or a man. It just takes simple steps. And 
I think I'm like a slow motion person. Anything, I think I'm a big believer in slow motion makes everything look good. <laughs> so hair flips in slow motion <laughs> is my advice to making everything look good. To me, sensuality is letting go and giving, letting go of that energy that you're holding in and that you're giving off. It's like feeling yourself, not the Beyonce way though. Not egotistic, but like damn, you know, like I'm a woman, embrace yourself, embrace your curves, embrace your beauty, embrace what you were here to do. You were here to be an attraction, to be an apple. <laughs> so why not embrace it? So first thing is first, I showed Gia all my very best moves and uh, my convincing faces that showed her like I'm a boss, B-A-W-S-E when it comes to the dance floor. And um, she gave me a little bit of a guider. She just said, she took what I was already doing and just made it less ridiculous. I kind of learned a couple of stuff after watching the tape, like I'm way too damn straight. What Gia was always doing is there was always a bend. So it really is so much about body positioning. Now even the first thing you learn when it comes to being sensual at all times in your body language is you have to put an S in your step. No matter how you're standing, there has to be a curve to it. That is what entices and attracts to a woman. It's what makes a woman womanly, sensual. So you should always have your head one way, your hips the other. Pointed toes save the damn day. When I was looking at this tape back and saw my flat ass feet in sneakers versus her dainty pointed toes, I thought that was really hot. So that kind of gave me a great thing too because you may not have to be in heels. You can be in stockings. As long as you keep those toes on point, you're gonna make it look hot as hell. Another tip as well too that's great to learn is try moves that look hard but are pretty simple. Also, do one move at a time. I think in the past I was trying to do a lot with a little tiny bit of actual experience. And when I watch Gia, I notice she sometimes is only just moving her hair back and forth or just running her hand along her bra. She didn't have this pressure to be doing the splits or to be doing a handstand or to be swinging around a pole. It's just subtle movements that bring attention to your sensuality that can make the dance effective. All right, guys, I do not have a man in my life right now, so you are in luck. I'm going to attempt my third sexual dance for you, and I hope that you are copiously turned on. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And if you have any stories with sexual dances, if you ever tried it before, I would love to hear them. And also, I'm going to put a link below. I wrote a short story about a hilarious attempt at a sexual dance that essentially ended in a trip to the hospital. So it's on my Wattpad. Find that link below and be sure to tell me your stories. And in the meantime, presenting Shannon Boudram like you've never seen her before. If I'm gonna give one last tip before I go, 